Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, with today's session there was no real specific topic in mind. We just wanted to get back into the goal and start hitting the balls around. However, if uh, if anything, we were working on more so dealing with shots close to the body. Uh, anything away from the frame of the body was done in a much more controlled manner as we obviously wanted to avoid any injuries from diving or landing after so long away. Also a massive shout out to Alice to help me get in the footage together at such a short notice and lastly I can only apologise about the wind noise, it was like training inside a wind tunnel at times today. Uh, to start off with we did some basic volleys just to get our hands and eyes back in and start moving our feet. After this we did a few lateral shuffles across the goal to get the heart rate up a little bit quicker. Starting off with a set of six and working down to four, four finishing off on three different sets of two volleys with an added dipper at the end. Uh, this was great when working on those short and sharp movements and being able to slow yourselves down correctly and effectively. With this done, we did one set each of some high intensity interval training uh, with the hurdles, doing it for a 10 for 10 work rest ratio to keep the intensity and quality high. To the next exercise now, just a small pass from the goalkeeper before dropping off to defend the goal. As I said earlier, all we were looking to do was uh, to shoot in and around the goalkeeper's frame to keep those reps higher and really get those bread and butter saves perfected as best as we can. Then moving into our recovery saves, uh, as the goalkeeper would start nearer to the goal line before moving up, touching the cone and dropping back off to make the save. Uh, this was just focusing on the timing of when we set as well as the uh, acceleration and deceleration going backwards and forwards. Moving on to the controlled away from the body saves, the goalkeeper reacted to the server moving the ball in the hands before touching it and recovering back to make a slightly more explosive save. Yeah. Uh, then we progressed this and made it into a combination of both the previous drills. The goalkeeper drops off when the server drops or rolls the ball away before they strike it towards goal. The shot could be anywhere within the middle third of the goal. And then just to finish off, one of my go-to exercises with the supporting movement, the pass and the defending the goal. With this, we had the poles in at an angle around 8 to 10 yards away from the goal, just to cause a little bit of chaos. 